This is Cedric Clute talking to you on KVGC Radio, continuing our trip across Panama on Tales of the Mother Lode. The journey across the isthmus took about five days, and the travelers were eaten alive by mosquitoes, gnats, and other insects. They were also broiled by the sun and continually wet because of the constant rain. At overnight stops along the way, things were about the same. This is what Jim Taylor had to say about a hammock he rented in one of the native huts. All the household operations were carried on in a single room. A notched pole serving as a ladder led to a sleeping loft under a roof of thatch. Here, a number of the emigrants who arrived late were stowed away on a rattling floor of cane covered with hides. After a supper of pork and coffee, I made my day's notes by the light of a miserable, starveling candle stuck in an empty bottle, but had not written far before my paper and body were covered with fleas, so I turned in for the night. To lie down was one thing, to sleep another. A dozen natives crowded round the table below, drinking and arguing, and as my weight swung the hammock so low, all the dogs on the premises were constantly rubbing their backs under me. And so, worn and weary, these future 49ers finally reached Panama City and found conditions even worse. People were piled up in the town just waiting for a boat to take them to San Francisco. The few hotels were filled, and it was impossible to get a room for any amount of money. The travelers had to live in the streets, and no doctor's medicine or health care was available. They became sick of dysentery, malaria, cholera, and Panama fever, and literally there was no one to help them. And so, halfway to their goal, these 49ers found themselves stuck in Panama City, a pest hole of misery, sickness, and death. This is Cedric Clute asking you to tune in again soon as we continue our trip across Panama on Tales of the Mother Lode. <laughs>